Hey guys, uh, Serpent X here, and got a uh, update for you here on Awesome Miner. So all the mining programs that I've tried, uh, including the one that comes with uh, Awesome Miner here, is basically XMR rig. CPU miner I can get working. The one for the Nvidia miner, I don't know why. It just it won't take any of the command line parameters. What I do, put in there uh, POW seven space one Monero seven Kryptonite seven. It just won't take it. So uh, the best way to get Awesome Miner up and running as quickly as possible is go ahead and get XMR stack uh, first. If you have the free version of Awesome Miner and you have like your CPU as a as a profile and your video cards as a profile, you're not gonna be able to do this because you can only hold two on the free version. So if you want to get the premium and have more than two, that's on you. But all I did was just took off my CPU because you will need to do this in order to get Monero uh, working. At least for me, this is this is the fastest way because Monero was driving me crazy. Uh, so you're gonna go into options, manage software, uh, give it a name, API only, XMR stack, enter it a, a port number which I'm still working on the API port because uh, for some reason it's thinking when I'm mining Monero that it's Equihash. So, you know, give it an API port number, uh, 999, 555, whatever you want. Um, select the algorithm, you know, Kryptonite V7. I'm gonna click OK. So now that guy's in there. Then we're gonna go up to Manage Miners and we're gonna click Add. Now here's the fun part. Before we need to add it in here, uh, we need to extract it. So you're gonna download, and I'll put this in the description, um, this guy here uh, from GitHub. Now there's a couple versions of X XMR stack. Uh, I believe this is the latest one, so 2.4.1. Uh, you're just gonna hit the 64 zip, download that, then you're going to open it up in whatever uh, zip program you have. Um, extract it to, uh, C users, and this is where Awesome Miner should be. So C users, your your login, app data, local, and then in Awesome Miner, you're just gonna select Awesome Miner at the top, click new folder, it's gonna create a new XMR stack Win64 folder, and you're gonna extract it there. Now, you can get out of here, but you are gonna want that folder open, uh, the Awesome Miner folder. Uh, so you can call this miner, this managed miner, whatever you want. So Monero 7, give it whatever name, doesn't really matter. Uh, device profile doesn't really matter. Uh, you can organize it if you want. Um, I'm going to choose algorithm, and I think this is may, this may be where the unspecified Equihash is coming from. But you're going to choose Kryptonite V7. At the bottom is XMR stack user defined. And it actually you can actually see which ones are supported on this algorithm and which ones aren't. Um, yeah, see, XMR rig is on there, but it's not working. All right, so it's got to be specified, so we got to go find it now. We're going to click Browse, and again, the same way. See users, your name, app data, local, awesome miner, the folder, and then you're going to select the, the executable, uh, and go ahead, and you can connect that to whatever profile you have set up, uh, NVIDIA, CPU, AP, uh, AMD, whatever you want, and then click OK. You shouldn't have to outline any command line parameters. At least when you do the initial setup, everything's going to be done in the config file and the pools file. And for NVIDIA cards, the NVIDIA file. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So we're going to click OK. And that guy's going to get added here to our awesome miner. Now, watch what happens when we start up. This is the important part. When we start this, this is going to ask you all kinds of goodness. So, do you want to use the HTTP interface and live screen? Display browser interface is not affected by the GPU lag, yada, yada, yada. If you don't want to use it, press, uh, press enter, which will be zero. Uh, otherwise, enter a port number that the miner should listen on. Um, now, you could leave this uh, as zero. Um, I put in a port number, doesn't really matter. Now here, you're gonna choose the Kryptonite, uh, you know, the new one, the Monero 7. So Monero 7. Enter. Now here's the pool address. Now you got a couple of choices here. I was able to get nano pool working just fine on this. So you would put in the pool, no uh, SSL stratum, nothing like that. Just the pool colon, and then I got it working on a stratum port. 
Um, and you can also do the mining hub's address with port and everything. So, let's go ahead and do mining pull hubs. In this window, you're gonna paste. So there's the address and port. Next one is gonna ask for your username. Username for nano, um, nano pool is a wallet address. Username for mining pool hub is your actual username. So uh, there we go. Uh, we don't need to define the worker, I believe, here, not yet. So username, password, uh, usually empty or X. Uh, rig identifier, XSF1, this should be your worker. And then, does this pool support uh, TLS, uh, SSL? Usually, you know, you can leave it unknown. Um, and you can also change that in the config file. Do you want to use the nice hash on this pool? No. Do you want to use multiple pools? Here's where you define multiple pools, like nano pool or whatever, if you want to put in the, the Asia Crypto Knight for mining pool hub or the Europe, Europe one. Uh, but in this case, I'm just gonna hit no. Now here it's gonna connect and it's gonna error out. Like right there, uh, we have an error. A block operation was interrupted by call. WSA cancel blocking call. So uh, invalid username for login. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to edit that. Now let me show you, in case this happens to you, don't worry about it. You can go to where you extracted the XMR stack, come up here to pools, edit, and in here, here's your uh, pool address, your wallet address. So we can do .xsf1. So where it said username, that's where we want to put it. Um, password, we can leave it alone. Let's see what happens when we leave that all alone. So it's going to save this. You might want to leave this open because you can probably do a couple tests. Start. Let's see if we can connect to it. Pool logged in. And now we have a CUDA error. Now I'm gonna show you how to fix this. This CUDA error um, is actually pretty simple. So it's gonna error out and cancel. So there's a couple things we need to do. So we just verified that we can connect. And this might happen on uh, Nano Pool or Mining Pool Hub. So depending on how things are set up, the username might be, you know, for Mining Pool Hub, username dot worker ID uh, or your worker name. Uh, nano pool it would be uh, wallet address dot your worker name uh, but with nano pool I was able to get away with separating it so wallet address and then it asked for the rig identifier which was my worker and then I put in or excuse me my password then my rig identifier which is the worker so password password rig identifier your worker name and then your user is your wallet or username uh, but we need to come into so that was so the pool's good. All right, so we're done with pool. Let's go over here. I want to show you a couple things. In config, you can configure the port. Uh, you can also configure uh, the output file, like you want to log or anything like that. Here's the port number right here, the port that the API will listen to. If you have any like HTTP logins or password, you can set that up. And Pretty much all of your commands is here. You shouldn't have to do anything in the config file, but just in case I'm gonna leave that guy open. Uh, you can also specify whether or not uh, the TLS secure algo is true or false. But for CPU, I noticed that I, I kind of get, I don't want my CPU working so hard on it. So you, when you edit this guy, if your CPU is getting taxed to heck, you can take out these two lines. Uh, or you can take out these three lines to, to go as low as possible. But usually I just stick with these first two, either the first or second one. For right now I'm not gonna worry about it because uh, OBS is easy to handle. Now NVIDIA is another file. This is why we got our error. We need to click edit on this guy. And what I notice, and X, I'll have this in the description too, xmrstacks.com has a website to where you can see like benchmarks, like how your video card is doing. So 10 series, 9 series, 7 series. So I have a 1080 Ti, and when I come here, my specific gigabyte ORS, whatever you want to call it, card is not on here. But if you notice, when you click on continue reading for a card, here's what your config for your GPU should look like. So when you go to the NVIDIA file and don't misclick something, it will wind up bringing up this information here at the bottom. 
change your B factor to eight. That's gonna help you out. And the default for your card might be 54 and uh, blocks 84. So threads 54, blocks 84. I would recommend turning that down. Now you can see on this, uh, what is this? Yeah, this is just the EVGA for the Win 3 Hybrid. Obviously I don't have the performance of that card. So I can turn it down to 32 or 42 or whatever I want. Change the B factor to eight. Some people report that helps out. And then you're going to save that. So file, save. And now when you go back to Awesome Miner, you should be able to start and continue to mine. Let's find out. So new block detected. It hasn't said that I have an invalid username or password. And by now it would have come up with a CUDA error on my graphics card. So that's a good thing. If the video is choppy, that's obviously because I'm mining. Uh, I will come back to you in just a second. But no CUDA errors, no nothing. So it is getting choppy, I'm gonna get out of there. So earlier today, I hooked up to Nanopool and I wanted to make sure that it was working. And in fact, it was, as you can see here, was working. Uh, wasn't getting very many hashes, but I was able to connect with XMR stack. Uh, the mining pool hub and all other pools that support this fork uh, you'll be able to get running with Awesome Miner. I personally just haven't had any luck with XMR Rig. You need to do it with XMR Stack, except in Awesome Miner, you're probably gonna have to manually configure it. For example, if I go, let's go do this real quick. If I go to the defaults here on my profit switching and my 9TI, there we go, we got it hooked up to XMR Nano Pool, and check this out. If I go manage my pools, edit, it is on the correct algorithm. I didn't set it up correctly. I tried all kinds of command line parameters, it just would not take. Watch what happens. When I hit start, and it keeps doing that. Usually that means invalid configuration, but I've tried many things. And then when I did get it working, it would reject shares. So rather than wasting your time, just go ahead and get XMR stack. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be all in one default profile and awesome mine like I would like, uh, but you will have to set up a new managed pro, uh, uh, profile. You will have to set up a new uh, managed software. Uh, you just extract XMR stack in it and do it exactly as I showed you. If you need some more help, comment. Uh, if you have any input on the XMR rig or any other better programs, let me know. XMR stack does take 2% off the top for donations, uh, which I don't mind because those devs actually do update. And like I said in my last video, you want to support devs that constantly update and try to keep on top of stuff. So for me, XMR stack is the only one that got I got to work correctly with Awesome Miner. And also I can use it outside of Awesome Miner directly. I have it in another folder that I you know, have all my batch files and everything set up. Same thing, You, uh, when you first install it and click on the exe file, it's gonna ask you the same thing. So do you wanna use what port, uh, what currency do you wanna mine, uh, set up the, the excuse me, the, the server address, the URL uh, or for the pool, the wallet or username, uh, the password, and then the rig identifier, which again is the worker name. So besides that, uh, I want to hear some input if anybody's been having issues with specifically mining Monero because it's been driving me up the wall since the fork. Uh, also, I'm using NVIDIA, so maybe AMD's just got better luck than we do. We did have to wait for some devs to do some, some quick updates. It did work out, but uh, yeah, if you want to get mining with Awesome Miner, mining the new Monero 7 or the new Kryptonite, uh, this is how you can get it up and running in Awesome Miner. So like, share, subscribe, and comment below, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Appreciate it.